may fear your name, your name. I will praise you, O Lord, my God, with all of my heart. I will glorify your name forever, for great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths of the grave. Teach me the way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. me away, O oh Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name, your name. I will praise you, O oh Lord, my God, with all of my heart. I will glorify your name forever, for great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths of After the great feeding of the 5,000, Jesus told his disciples to get into a boat and cross the lake 
called the Sea of Galilee. I'll meet you later, Jesus told them. It was time for Jesus to spend some time in prayer. As his disciples took the boat across the lake, Jesus went to a place where he could pray. Even though it was late at night, Jesus knew that prayer and time with God, his Father, was important. While Jesus prayed, a violent storm arose. The wind was fierce on the lake, and the disciples, rowing with all their might, weren't getting anywhere. Even though they had been on the lake for hours, they were unable to steer the boat and became frightened. At that moment, Jesus decided to come to the disciples. Since he did not have a boat, he simply started walking on the water towards them. In the middle of that terrible storm, Jesus walked calmly as the crushing waves roared from all sides. As the lightning flashed and the rain pelted them, the disciples looked around in confusion, wondering what to do. And then they saw something on the water. Could it be someone walking on the water? It's a ghost, they screamed in terror. Every one of the disciples in the boat was terrified. Take heart, it's me, Jesus replied cheerfully. Don't be afraid. He walked confidently toward the trembling disciples who were huddling in the windswept, wave-beaten boat. Then Peter answered, If it's you, command me to come to you on the water. Peter knew that Jesus had control over all the elements, even the weather. Come, Jesus replied. So Peter began to climb out of the boat and stepped into the water. He was doing it. He was walking on the water. He could hardly believe what was happening. But then Peter shifted his attention away from Jesus and onto the storm. He felt the sting of the strong wind. He looked at the motion of the wild waves. And then he plunged down into the water. Lord, save me, Peter yelled. Quickly, Jesus grabbed Peter and pulled him back, helping him into the boat. Jesus looked at his disciples. Why do you have so little faith? Why do you doubt so easily? Jesus asked. Then Jesus stepped into the boat himself, and right away, the night became calm. The air went still, not even a hint of the terrible wind and storm they had experienced. The disciples in the boat were astonished. Their terror was gone, and they started worshiping Jesus. Truly, you are the Son of God, they whispered in adoration. Hi families at home, I hope you're doing well. My name is Wine and I get to do this craft with you today. First of all, wasn't that such a great lesson about Jesus' power and his power to walk on water? How cool is that? And so as his followers, we get to follow in his footsteps. And although we may not be able to physically walk on water the way that he did, we can with a little bit of our imagination and creativity. So today, we're gonna to be making what we like to call water walkers. And so they're just a cutout of your shoe or um, your foot, and you can design it and make it look super cool and super neat. And this is what we are going to need. You're gonna need some paper to cut it out. You can even use construction paper, a marker to outline it, some scissors, and some markers, glitter, anything you want to use to decorate your water walkers. And you're gonna need your foot and, or you can use your favorite shoe. This is my favorite shoe. I love these shoes. And with that said, let's get started.
Okay, I had a lot of fun making these with you guys and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I want you to know that you yourselves are a walking miracle and a walking testament of God's glory and grace and that he loves you so much. And again, I wish you all a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye. Psalm 95, 1 through 4. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him Him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In His hand are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to Joy to the Lord, let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord, let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and soul Him with music and soul. Thank you.